triple C. I'm gonna make him bend the knee. Rolling with the triple C. Don't really count the heat. So Leon Edwards is saying that Kobe Covington is not next. I mean, in other words, he's saying Dana White, now I got the power. This is what I want to do. I don't why is Kobe, why is it that I got stripped when I wasn't fighting, but yet Kobe never fights, and all, all of a sudden this man gets again. I'm just quoting guys, gets a title shot. Or he's the next person in line. I mean, fair play. I I can see where Leon is coming from. Um, but I can also see where he's coming from, not just because it's Kobe Covington, but stylistically how this is a, a good matchup for Kobe Covington. You see, I go back and I watch that fight with him and Kamara Usman, and what is it that Usman, Usman was just a little off. He was chasing Leon a little too much. He was chasing him a little too much rather than actually cutting the ring or cutting the octagon. There's little steps to it. I'm not going to get into that. His takedowns were off. He wasn't transitioning up top. Like it was just, it was almost like the same thing. Like you have to have the ability of not just go for double legs, but also go for bear hugs, go for inside trips, go for over unders, go throws. I mean, there's so much that Kamaru Usman could have done. But that being said, one thing about Kobe Covington is he will rush you like a rat on a cheetah. I mean, he's in from the start of the fight. He's in, he's in, he's like Marab. He's like Marab Dash's video. Well, these guys, they, they just have a threshold of what it is to just wrestle. And if you don't have that, it's gonna, they're, they're eventually going to bring you bring you up on their feet and they're going to eventually hurt you. You know, Leon Rocky Arrows, I, I still question your wrestling. Congratulations right now. You are the best middleweight at 170 pounds. And you know what? Quite honestly, I don't blame you. I don't blame the fact that you don't want to fight like a guy like Kobe. Because you're right. There is beef between you and George Masvidal. There is. He sucker punched you. Um, you want it back. You make a whole lot more money. But you're also going up against Dana White. You know, the founder of the UFC and now Power Slap. I mean, that dude has, that dude has leverage. It does. But as a champion, too, you also have leverage, too. And again, guys, I'm here to say, man, when you're a champion, you have about one year, one year to decide who is it that you actually want to fight. You know, a lot of a, some fighters get it. Some fighters take advantage of that. And some fighters, they, you know, they eventually, you know, dive in and they, they eventually just, you know, go with what the boss wants. I can see, I can see where Dana's coming from, but I could also see where Leon is coming from, too. So I'm not here to be pro UFC or pro Leon. What I'm saying is when you're a champ and when you're the boss of the UFC, there's choices. And then you see you can start negotiating. There's leverage. You see what Leon does have more than anything is he has a belt. And what that belt does, it gives you time. It gives you time to be like, all right, I'll just wait another year to fight him again. And what happens to 170 pound weight division? It's, it's held off. The idea that I like better than probably than anything is why don't you make a Hamza Chimaev and Kobe Covington fight? Whether you do an interim or winner of that fight gets the title gets the title fight. I personally think that's fair. At the same time, I do know where Leon is coming from, but as a champion too, you know, you should take all opponents. You know what I'm saying? Like Kobe Covington, the only guy that he's really ever lost to, his name is, you know, Kamara Usman. So he's the only, that's the only guy, like he's always been right there. But I also know, Leon, that he's also a dangerous fight. When I say easy, guys, I don't mean saying easy like, uh, maybe I should change the wording on that, Leon, for you. When I say it's an easy fight for Kobe, stylistically, you're a good fight for him. Because, you know, your you're, you're wrestling is still a little suspect. You know what I'm saying? Like, how good is it when, because with Kobe Covington, he's going to be coming at you from round one to round five, where Kamara Usumar display more of his actual fighting. You know, you have time. You have time to get better in these positions. But the question is, is will, you, will your ego allow you to, because nobody likes to wrestle. You see what I'm saying? It's too tiring. It's tiring even for a wrestler when you fight and you actually 
Russell. What you got for me, Michael? So one thing I also wanted to ask you about, there's a lot of discussion on Twitter. Does Colby deserve this title shot? Did he earn it? You know, a lot of the likes of, you know, Bilal Muhammad's being discussed. Maybe the winner of Gilbert Burns versus Jorge Masvidal at UFC 287. What do you have to say about someone like Colby just coming after a year and uh, getting that title shot? Do you, do you think he's earned it with kind of his mouth and in that way, or, do, or would you have rather seen someone like a Bilal or the Masvidal Burns winner? No, I, I think Kobe's earned it through his fight game, through the fights that he's put out, and through his mouthpiece. Uh, and I think people need to recognize and realize that you got to give credit where credit is due, and that's one thing that Kobe does better than the majority of people. He is a heel, and he's a good heel. Whether you hate him or you, you there's one or the one of the two things. Ah, he's okay. You either like him or you hate him. I personally don't mind. The dirt bag, you know what I'm saying? Especially, well, he's a little kinky, man. I know he likes a few knuckles up in his rear. But other than that, the dude could fight. You see, Kobe, Co Kobe Covington could actually fight. And with this mouthpiece, I mean, he's selling it. Like, he knows what he's doing. I mean, this is what every fighter should take notes because that's the fight game. The fight game is not, you're not just fighting. You don't want to be boring. You also want to create storylines, as Uncle Chow would say. So is he jumping the line? Not really, man. Not really cause, because he's always been there. But I wouldn't mind seeing him fight either Hamza Chamarov or the winner of Bilal Muhammad. And then they get Leon Rocky Edwards. What's going to happen is Leon's going to end up fighting with the UFC, fighting with Dana White. And guess what? The 170-pound weight division is going to be dead. Nobody's going to fight for about a year. So these are things that could possibly happen. I'm just giving you guys scenarios because I am here to I am here to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So prediction right now, Colby Covington versus Leon Edwards. If that does happen, what right now? What would you say your heads at in terms of prediction of that? And predictions, Kobe beats him. Kobe beats him. Kobe doesn't maybe doesn't stop him, but he grinds him out for five rounds. Might be you know four rounds to one or three to two, but I think where Kobe strives. The best and where Leon didn't. Maybe he did this time with Kamaru, but in the past, I can see Kobe Covington being the toughest matchup for him. Like he's better off fighting a guy like Hamza Chimaev. You know what I mean? Like fighting a guy like that 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 hasn't gone, that doesn't have five round experience, but yet still has that wrestling. So if I had to pick an option, if I was Leon, I'd be like, hey man, I would go with this guy, or I would go with George. But I can also see why you're trying to avoid a guy like Kobe Covington. So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember there's more breakdowns, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out! <laughs>